Welcome to Orchid Life, folks, the show where we grow, grow, grow today. On how to grow orchids, we're gonna talk about lighting and growing in the shade. As most of us know, these plants love to be under the shade of the oak tree. Common knowledge, maybe it's not common knowledge, I don't know, for orchids. If your skin can get burned, they can get burned. So they love the airflow up here. They love being mounted to trees. You can see this one's about to go off. She's got about a six foot spike going off. But winter's coming to an end. We're heading into springtime. We're gonna get a lot more sun coming in. The back end of winter is a good time to train your plants for this higher sense of sun. But we also gotta get ready. So I'm, I have a shade house in the back, which gives me a little more light than I have here for my vandas and other orchids. Um, we did an extension on it not too long ago and I'm gonna go over how to do some of this stuff on a low budget. I've got kids, I've got a career, I don't have a lot of time. I can't spend a ton of money on some of the higher end shade houses that we're gonna cover in other episodes, but I can show you what I've done here. And I guarantee you, you're either gonna learn something or you're gonna laugh at me busting my ass. So follow along, watch the end of the episode. If you've got some tips for me, please leave comments. I wanna hear about the tips. If you've got a cool spot or you got a cool shade house, let me know. Click the like button, click the dislike button, subscribe, come to the community. We're gonna to grow together. Let me show you and tell you about what I got going on with my shade house. So, first of all, back here, I've had this up for a couple years. Um, I put everything in there this winter. To, it was a cold winter. I wanted to keep the, the cold off of it. It's a work in progress. Like I said, I got kids, blah, blah, blah. These shades are from last year. I had a smaller house. Um, it was 60% shade. It did a really good job. So 60% shade, you can definitely grow in. This year, I'm gonna put a little more light on them. I went with a 50% shade. We get a lot of heat and a lot of light. I've learned like the plants, they can tolerate the heat, but they don't necessarily love the heat. So I figured these black knitted ones are great, but black attracts heat. So this year I went with something kind of cheaper, a bigger, you know, I've got 40 feet now, so I gotta cover a little more. I've got this white knitted one. Oh, we got a little Lizzie here hanging out. I like my little Florida lizards. These guys aren't so shy. They'll let you get pretty close and they, they clean up the orchids real nice. We keep the bugs off of them. They keep everything going. He's a Florida anole, a green anole, native, just like me. So anyway, Here's the shade I got. It's pretty standard. It's not custom cut or anything like that. So it's just bulk shade so I could save some money there. This obviously is a shade house. Honestly, guys, I'm not a builder, so I'm not gonna go into structural integrity or anything like that. But I can tell you, I have a couple tools and some background in construction. So I was able to repurpose a chain link fence and with a couple extra lengths, I probably built this whole structure for under 500 bucks. So we're talking about a low budget, simple system where I can get light throughout the day that's shaded and gives these plants what they need to grow, the health they need, so that we can do stuff like this and just grow healthy vandas that are ready to pop and give us nice flowers. So let's get to work. That's what we're gonna do today. First thing I gotta do is take down this old crap and prepare this new stuff. This new stuff has grommets you got to do. So you got to do a little extra work. It's not all catered, but like I said, we're saving a couple bucks. So let's do it. A crew, oh, eh, oh. No, I don't need no help, man. You get out me face. I put this up one night just to give me some shade, but this is far from what I'm looking for. So let me get rid of it all. Just some clips to hold it in place. Those come in handy if you just need an extra set of hands. I usually don't have any help whatsoever, so I've got to do everything myself. Woo! This beautiful guy right here I got from R&R. She's got about seven or eight spikes. I love this one. This one's one of my babies. If you do wear stilts, be careful. I don't recommend it. I'm just an idiot. Um, but the more uneven the ground, the more chances that you're gonna find your way to it quicker than ever. I did lower my stilts the other day, so I'm not as 
up air as I could be. But let me tell you what, when it comes to moving plants around in the shade house, these stilts are the way to go. I like them on my tiptoes, baby. You think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily. And I'm the type of that might change my number on you. Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on you. Pretty brown skin, baby. I can see the summer on you. You see all the bread, and I know it make you wonder, don't you, don't you, don't you? Ooh. I ain't surprised at all. Seen them rise and fall. Went up and mountain, it wasn't hard to climb at all. At the top, I found some relief. I finally got some peace. Carry on, but please don't mess up the moon. Yeah, I worked too hard for it. No, I need it, beat it, for you mess up the moon. Yeah. I twist around, and this is just temporary, dude. Dollar ninety-nine. Can't beat them. Dollar ninety-nine. Don't mess up the moon. Tank behind you. Strawberry? I like strawberry. Not that part. I'm also famous for leaving tools at the top of the ladder, and then when I go to move them, I haven't um, remembered that I had left them there, and they often hit me in the head. So, again, I'm sorry you guys haven't been able to witness any of that today, but we're almost wrapping up. I'll, I'll do my best to catch whatever brutal follies we have left on film. But for now, we just gonna put the top on this thing and call it a day. Then we can relax in the shade house. I've still got some walls and stuff to wrap up, but this is custom cloth, so we'll be able to cut it and do what we gotta do. Okay. Grab the letter. And when you're wearing stilts, you don't have to remember to bring the letter. Oh, looks like we got rain. Plants get a free watering today. Never too proud to admit my own mistakes. That's why we're all here. We're all trying to learn. We're all trying to figure it out. We're all trying to see ideas from other people. So again, welcome to the community. I hope you're learning something. I hope you see some cool plants here. Please drop us a line, get involved. The way I learned about all this stuff was talking to most of the people you'll find on this channel. So, welcome, do your best. We're only human. We're not perfectionists. It's nice to get it right sometimes, but I certainly don't get it right all the time or probably even half the time, but I still like doing it. A labor of love. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. There's some misinformation, and there's some better ways to do things. And that's what we're gonna find out. Luckily, I got a good team of pros that can help me through all this stuff. Should have got some bigger scissors. It's not like the wrapping paper. Wrapping paper's all glide and smooth like. Probably an exacto knife would be better than scissors, but whatever. These were handy. Up. I was cutting some spikes the other day. I will be sanitizing these before I decide to cut any leaves or spikes with them as to not introduce any pathogens into my plant. So, like I said, you can grow in all types of light. We had that shady light from the, from the oak tree. We have the 50% filtered shade. Here I'm growing these ascosendas under 
patio screen, which is about 20% shade. But again, if you water them properly, cool them down in the afternoons in the summertime, you can grow in this kind of light and you'll watch your plants blow up. Well, in true Florida style, the weather has shut us down, but you get the gist of it. We've got the canopies up, we've got the walls in place. Mine's gonna stay clamped off for the rest of the night and I'm just gonna take some either zip ties, maybe some rope, you know, be creative, whatever you got, if you're working on a budget or if you, know, if you got a better design and go for it. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff out there, a lot of really nice greenhouses where you can really control the environment. You can stop the rain, it rains when you want it to rain, you know, working towards that. Um, but here I can take advantage of the South Florida climate and just use the shade house, give my plants light throughout the day. Um, you've got to watch out in the rainy season when it's super, super rainy. You've got to watch out in the winter when it gets cold. You know, it's kind of a pain in the bee. But it's a great little spot, not only to grow your plants, but in the summertime to hang out, hang out with your friends, you know, do your thing and get out of the sun, stay in the shade and relax. So again, I hope you learned something. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to hurt myself and entertain you that way. I do have a couple cuts, but uh, nothing too serious. So if you're out there and you've got a killer spot, you got a killer shade house. I know Jeff Durance is out there. He's going to be building a super nice custom one. I'm supposed to help him on. Um, a couple other of my buddies do big pergolas. I've got a guy who does commercial installs on the big aluminum ones I was talking about with the, with the motion louvers, all that stuff. So stay tuned for our next episodes of In the Shade. We'll go over different shade house designs. We'll talk to different people. You can get an idea. You can get creative. You can send us what you've done. Um, you can make fun of me, you can leave comments, you can do whatever you got to do, but you know, join the community, click the like button, subscribe, stay tuned to our next how to grow episodes, whether it be in the shade or whether it be the other tutorials we have going on. Um, look forward to seeing you there. Look forward to hearing from you and look forward to growing with you. Thanks for tuning in to Orchid Life. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.